Hello everyone, we are going to do a um, one of the homework problems from page 108, number 8A. I know that all weekend you were doing math problems, so let's do one of them together. And it says, determine the unknown side and angles for triangle ABC, where angle C equals 31 degrees, side A is 5.6 centimeters, and side C is 3.9 centimeters. So let's solve that together. So here's what we know. We know um, that angle C is 31 degrees. So whichever angle we know, we're going to put here. And in the homework problems, this was called angle A, but now it's called angle C. That's OK, though. It could be called angle R or angle Q, it doesn't matter. And this is 31 degrees. So if this is angle C, then side C is opposite angle C. So it is going to be out here. And we don't know um, what this triangle is going to look like, so I'm just going to draw it like that for now. And so side C equals 3.9 centimeters. We also know that side A is 5.6 centimeters. So we can put that in. A equals 5.6 centimeters. Um, since this is triangle ABC, this here would be side B. Um, but we don't know the length of that. This here would be angle B, because it is going to be opposite side B. Okay, so angle C is down here, so side C has to be opposite it. Uh, whatever this angle is, it's opposite side A, so it's going to be called angle A. Okay, so let's try to solve this thing. So we're just going to do the steps we were doing before. And step one was to identify angle, uh, angle C. So identify the angle. Is it acute or obtuse and look at this it is acute because it is less than 90 degrees so that means there are four possible cases and now we're gonna figure out which of those four it is um, step two was to find uh, the height of the triangle H and so this is the height here Okay, 90 degrees, this is H, and we know that if this is um, a right angle triangle, we can say that sine of angle C is going to be opposite over the hypotenuse, and the opposite here is the height. Okay, so H here stands for height, not hypotenuse, that's the opposite, the hypotenuse is A. And so if we want to figure out the height, we want to get h on its own. And right now, h is being divided by a. So we want to get rid of a. So we're going to do the opposite. We're going to multiply it to both sides. So a times sine c equals h. So h equals a is 5.6. And c, angle c, is 31 degrees. So let's see what that is equal to. I'm going to go 5.6 times sine 31. Close the brackets. And my, com my calculator is in ra uh, degrees, not radians. So I get the correct answer of 2.884. OK. So I'm going to give uh, two decimal places h equals 2.9 centimeters. So that's 2.9 centimeters. Okay. Step three, remember, is to compare the sides. And what we've got here is this is the shortest. So H is the shortest. Um, the next one is C. 
and the next one is A. So this ends up being like um, case 4, meaning there are how many possible triangles? Two possible triangles. And we are going to figure out what they both are. Okay. Okay, so one of the possible triangles is going to look kind of like that, where this is 3.9 centimeters, but if we swung this over, we could also get a triangle that looks like that. So if I draw them in different colors, here's one possible triangle. We'll call this case one, or triangle one. And the other possible triangle is going to look like this. Okay. And so we're going to solve for both those possible um, triangles. Okay. Now, um, step four in this process was to uh, find the second angle. Okay. And in this case, it is going to be uh, this angle here. Since it's this is side A, this would be angle A. Okay, but this is also a possible one. This is going to be angle A prime. Okay, so A and A prime. So if we want to find angle A, we can use the sine law. So sine A over side A equals, let's use this pair, since we have both of those, sine C over side C. And since we're looking for this, we want to get rid of that. So we are going to multiply that to both sides. A sine C over C. And now we'll put in the numbers. So A is 5.6, and angle C is 31 degrees, and side C is 3.9 centimeters. And so let's put that into our calculator. So 5, whoop, 5.6 times sine 31, and very important step here, close the brackets or else you get the wrong answer divided by 3.9 equals 0 0.7395 0 0.7395 dot 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 we're not going to round that off um, so that's sine A what we want though is angle A so angle A is going to equal arc sine 0 0.7395 dot 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 and so let's figure out what that is and on my super awesome calculator I can go like a second sine so I've got arc sine and then I'm gonna go second answer so it's gonna put that in there I'm gonna close the brackets enter and lo and behold angle A is 47.69 etc. degrees. So I'm going to round that up to 48 degrees. 48 degrees. So this one here, 48. Okay. Um, as far as angle A prime goes, um, for the other possible triangle, we can quickly figure that out too. Okay, so we know that sine theta will equal a positive angle in this quadrant and in this quadrant because it goes A S T C so sine is positive here and here so sine theta can equal 0 0.7395 here right where angle A if you take the sine of that it would be opposite over the hypotenuse um, but we could also have that here, right? Where this is 
the opposite, and it's the same number as that, and the hypotenuse is the same. So sine of this angle will also equal 0 0.7395. So what is that angle? The reference angle here is A, and if this is 180 degrees, then angle A prime equals 180 minus A, or 180 minus 48 degrees, which equals 132 degrees. I did that in my head without my calculator. Okay. That makes angle A prime here 132 degrees. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to just redraw both cases here. So here is case 1. It's going to look like this and like that, sort of. Okay, so this is angle A, this is B, this is not angle A, this is uh, angle C, my apologies. This is angle A. This one is 31 degrees. This one is 48, right? And so we don't know this. We do know that this is 5.6 centimeters and this is 3.9, but we also don't know that. So this is uh, triangle number one. Triangle number two looks similar for part of it, uh, but it's like this. So this is 31, this is angle C. Uh, this is a prime, which we found is 132. And then this, you know what, we'll call B prime. This is still 5.6, this is still 3.9, but we don't know these sides. Okay, so this is triangle number two. So let's try figure out these two different triangles. Okay, so we'll do them one at a time. This is number one, this is number two. And so for number one, we need to figure out angle B. And we know that angle A plus B plus C is going to equal 180 degrees. So B will equal 180 minus A minus C, or 180 minus uh, 48 minus C, which is 31. And that's going to equal 101 degrees. Okay, so that would make this 101 degrees. Now to figure out little b, we can just use the sine law. So b over sine b equals, let's use this pair, uh, c over sine c. So if we want to figure out b, we'll get it on its own. b equals C sine B, because we're multiplying both sides by sine B, over sine C. And we'll put in the numbers. So C is 3.9 centimeters, right? Uh, sine B is sine 101 over sine C, which is sine 31. Let's try that out. So 3.9 sine 101, close the brackets, divided by sine 31, close the brackets, enter. That would make side B equal to 7.4 centimeters. So we can put that in equals 7.4. That one's all done. Um, remember what we're doing here is step 5, which is solving for both triangles. So let's try this one here now. Uh, we have angle C and angle A prime. Now we need to find angle B prime. Okay, so B prime is going to equal 180 minus uh, a prime minus C, or 180 
minus 132 minus C, which is 31. And that equals clear 1 180 minus 132 minus 31 is 17. 17 degrees. Okay, and now we need to find little b. So we're going to do the same thing. B over sine b prime equals c over sine c. And we'll get rid of sine b prime by multiplying it to both sides. So b equals c sine b prime over sine c. And we can put in the numbers. C is 3.9 sine B prime, which we said was 17 degrees, over sine C, which is sine 31 degrees, right there. Let's try that. So 3.9 sine 17, close the brackets, divided by sine 31, close the bracket, enter, 2.2. Okay, so here, this equals 2.2 centimeters, which makes sense that it is shorter than this possible triangle, 7.4. So those are both of our triangles. We've solved for both cases. Uh, both um, s triangles work for the information that was given us. That is how you solve a triangle with the ambiguous case.